to another collector box opening. Third one. Again. There's been a lot of uh, people talking about this even after the one ring was covered. Seems like people are still like really excited about like the war. Makes sense, you know. One, one, uh, Lord of the Rings in general, big, big, uh, property. Chances are, if you ever talk about, like, who do you know about, like, that Lord of the Rings movie, or the books, what you're talking about. A new box topper, got. Mouth of Ronom. I've like I've never like seen the actual card Mouth of Ronom before. So it's a uh colorless no land that makes no mana obviously permanent. A four and a snow mana and sacrifice it. Tap sacrifice. Deal four damage with creature. I'm not really familiar with a lot of the old snap cards, so that kind of just threw me off. Like the things I remember from like cold snap is like Mishra's Bobble and Thrumming Stone. I don't remember when, like, Mishra's Wobble was, like, $40. Kind of been printed in a while, and it's a big deal in modern. Great. Rohirrim Lancer, Galadrim Guide, Inherited Envelope. If Lane Knots, Mirror Dog, Brandy Buck. I like that they have all these different characters. Rider Island. They're like a particular version of like a character card that really stands out to you most. Moria Marauder. Almost good enough for Modern Goblins. Almost, I don't know. It, may, it might have gone played in Modern Goblins, I don't know. File Gladriel. Cool. Reminds me of like Alhamaret's Archive. Um, wind swift slice, two generic and a green. Instant target creature you control deals damage equal to its power. The target creature you don't control create a number of one one green elf warrior creature tokens equal to the amount of excess excess damage dealt this way. Okay, so it's like a removal spell for your elf base deck. Mary Doc, Brandy Bug, Ring Art. Fangorn for it. Ooh, Yavimaya, but just ends on it. Fire Sheriff. Nasty ends. And Gondal Westward Voyager. Three generic green. Legendary creature, Avatar Wizard. 5-5. Five, five. Whenever you cast a spell with Mana Valley 5 or greater, each opponent reveals a spell card or life. Any of those cards shares a card type with that spell. Copy that spell, and you may choose targets. And each opponent draws a card. Otherwise, you draw a card. It's like a five mana something. Orc army. Rally of the Hornburg. It's every time I hear like someone talk about that car that reminds me of like Midnight at the 
Find the Shire. Isolation at Four Thong. Hobbit's thing. Quick beam upstart and Bilbo retired burglar. Forest. Flame of Anor. Which I think people have tried playing it in modern wizards, but I don't know. Maybe maybe now that like Yorion is banned, that X has like Hugh the Entwoods, Faramir, Steward of Gondor, one generic white blue, legendary creature, human noble, 2-2. Two, two. Whenever a legendary creature with mana value 4 or greater enters the battlefield under your become the monarch. That seems very fitting for like a noble. And at the beginning of the end step, if you're the monarch, create two 1-1 one, one white human creature tokens. Nazgul cards. I think this is like the one that's on Arena, this, that specific art of Nazgul. Elrond, Master of Healing, Ring Art, Mirkwood Bats, and the Grey Havens, Esarmon of Many Colors, um, all Ring Art. A foo token. Oh, it's also a foo token, but it's also smog on the other. Ever get like that rare saga? Some of those tokens get really expensive. At least the ones that like get played in constructed. If it's, actually, if it's actually constructed playable, it's going to be pretty expensive. The token. I think the shaman token from Kamigawa, that one's pretty expensive. Publish. Dunland Grabane. Chance Elves. Flash of the Balrog. Gimli's Axe, Mirror of Gladriel, Prince Imrahil the Fair, Forest, the Shire, Did all your food needs. I wonder if that gets played in like other. Ooh, the Blighted Halfling. Uh, Blighted Halfling, the art. Raise the Palisade, or generic in a blue sorcery, choose a creature type, return all creatures that aren't of the chosen type to their own. Name, um, so it's like, it's like your reward for playing a tribal deck. Creature type that you... Speaking of like Delighted Halfling, I was gonna say, I think Delighted Halfling in one ring has made a pretty big impact in modern. Or color. Legolas counter of kills. Thing art. Inn of the Prancing Pony. Slash Pillar of the Perron. Remember when that card was like ten dollars? Because and a Legolas counter of kills ring art foil. Angorn Tree Shepherd. And a food. The crinkling can be like very uh, relaxing. I think that's like why they, you know, copy the um, magic online. Like the, the crinkling noises, enter drafts. Um, not, not, I don't, I don't know if it, I think, I, I assume it does it also when you just like click open packs, but I, it's been like, I would probably not recommend way to open packs on that. Nimble Hobbit, Erebor Flamesmith, Morgul Knife Wounds, Mushroom Watchdogs, Grishnok Brash Instigator, 
Theoden, King of Rohan. Womp. Flamdring. Reminds me a lot of, like, a uh, Panther's Pike. But it does also, like, let you cast spells for free. So it has, like, um... Yeah, you cast spells for free from your hand. Really expensive in here. Press the enemy. Which does let you cast, like, zero cost spells, but it costs four. A lot. Zero cost spells, like the Cascaders. Third on the shipwright, three generic green and blue, legendary creature, elf noble, three four vigilance. Secret council, whenever certain the shipwright enters the battlefield or attacks, each player secretly votes for player, then those votes are received. Player draws a card for each vote they receive. Each player who received no votes may put a permanent on their from card from their hand on the battlefield. I see. So yeah. You name like people will vote for the players that have a lot of cards in hand, I guess. Or maybe not. I you would not vote for the people with empty cards. This is interesting. Proto Magans Ring Art Samwise Gamgee Ring Art um, Sunland Cobain and Wizards Rockets and Baradur the food token army alright well, we're a third of the way through that going pretty quickly Scar Goblin, Generous Ent, being a card that are having impact on modern, the one mana land cyclers, big deal in Living End, Nimrodel, Watcher, Fog on the Barrow Down, Four Cuts of Mushrooms, Bill Fernie, Mountain, Horn of the Mark, Coin Dwarf. Emissary, Gimli of the Glittering Caves, two generic and a red, legendary creature, Dwarf Warrior, double strike, 1-1. One, one. Whenever another legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on Gimli of the Glittering Caves when Gimli deals combat damage to the player creature. Like a legendary creature payoff that also ramp you. Fairmere, Field Commander, Ring Art, Gondol the White, Ring Art, um, Samwise the Stout Hearted from the scene, thingy, and then Rising of the Day, aka Fervor with Upside, and a Frodo, Sauron's Bane. I think most of the tokens are just food in this set, but food slash something else. I don't like look at all of them. Good night, Dark Life. How's it going? Nice Frodo. Yeah, yeah. The the scene. I like the I like the the choice of art that they chose for like the scene cards. Yeah, I mean they've had scene cards as early. I think as like. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the set or whatever. Maybe, no, I think it was before Prophecy, but there was like some set where they had all the like all the threshold cards. And maybe it was maybe it was like um, maybe it was like Plane Shift or something. You know, sometimes in the past they would just you know have like a single art piece. And then like, or commission like a single art piece and then break it up into um, two things. I think it was like, 
the the, th the card I was thinking of, I think it's like Repentant Vampire. Like a um like a five mana three three that if you have threshold threshold being like seven or more cards in your graveyard, it becomes like a gets plus one plus one becomes white, and you can tap to like destroy a black creature. I mean, they also have like the counter design. There's like a bunch of other creatures, like in red, green, or in the other color. I mean, like red, green, white, and then the threshold turned into a black creature thing. Anyways, Sam's Desperate Rescue, Hook Reaper, Urukai Berserker, Reason of Isengard. Quick beam, upstart, ent, go for the gray host, mountain. Actually, over the gray host, I I don't know how to like evaluate this card. I think it's actually kind of slow. Like it looked really good when I first saw it, but at least from like a limited perspective, my opinion. I don't know if anybody else likes this. Maps. Then guard the cell. Speaking of card that. Oh. Makes drafts that is unpleasant to play against. Uh, yeah, it's like a variant of um, you know, giver of runes, mother of runes. or I would say giver of runes because like they don't really make mother of runes types cards anymore because they don't want to have um, these types of protection creatures be able to target themselves. But instead, like this card is different from giver of runes because instead of um. Protection from a color is a protection from a type. That's some different new right, flowering of the white tree. So basically two mana glorious anthem. It's legendary, but it has like some upside if you have legendaries. And Gondal White Rider. I remember I thought this card was in the main set, but then pointed out like you no, know, there's like a bunch of cards that are like command. Gondol, White Rider, Legionary gonna light, Legendary Creature, Avatar. Vigilance, whenever you cast a spell, creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn, scry one. And Gondol, White Rider dies, you may put it into its owner's library, fifth from the top. Like, very flavorful. Dying and coming. Gondol, Friend of the Shire, Ring Art. Shards of Narsil is a thorn of the Amethyst, two colorless artifact. Creature spells can't cause one more to cast. Remember when this card was like expensive? Legacy. Being a lot of play in Legacy. Thorn of Amethyst. Enos Tirif. Bilbo, Retired Burglar. And Frodo, Sauron's Bane, Art. And a food slash smog. Why do them? How's it going? You love Arts for Land? Yeah, no, no, they're pretty great. For sure. So I, some people have, you're talking about the land, not like the alternate things, whatever, like the alternate universe stuff. Because I, I know somebody was like, wonder like how, I think it's like Sword of the Animist reprint, which is good for Commander, but it, it shows it up as like a ring or whatever. And people are like asking, how is a, how, how does um a, how does like a ring become a sword? Unless like one of those um lightsabers from like, uh, the lights, the lightsaber, or the lightsabers from like space balls. We're halfway through. Rohirrim Lancer, Galdrim Guides, Inherit Envelope, Hifflane Knots, Orphandel Dauntless Rescuer, Council's Deliberation. Reminds me a lot of like Think Twice, but I mean it's not exactly the same. It's 
not quite the same. Womp. Press the enemy. I feel like there was some... I, I don't know what scene this is actually portraying for whatever reason, but maybe I need to, like, ask around, like, what scene part is actually portraying. I don't know. Play of power. Like, the second... I think this is the second time they've used a text that the spell can't be copied unless you... Unless, like, there was a, some commander cards that say that also. Bilbo birthday celebrate. I remember people were talking about this during the spoiler because it had because it's specific because of the whole one eleven or more life thing. But yeah, Bilbo birthday celebrant, white, black, green, legendary creature, halfling, rogue, two three. If you would gain life, you gain them with life plus one instead, and then two generic one, two generic white, black, green, tap, exile, Bilbo birthday celebrate. Search your library for any number of creature cards and put them onto the battlefield and shuffle. Activate only if you have 111 or more. Yeah. I think that's like a commander only card, but not in the main set, so you want to play the modern. Gondal, Friend of the Shire, Ring Art. Uh, Frodo, Sauron's Bane, Ring Art. Rockets. The Faramir Field Commander Ring. And a Balrog Urin's Bane. Avatar Demon. Food. C double, yeah, hey, yeah, that's the Slayer. Happy Sunday. Yeah, C double. No, I was wondering if they put it on. I make a look on Scryfall to see if they put it on like any other cards. Like that. We haven't got any Bowmasters yet in this one box. Morals and Mirkwood Bats, Aaron Rider Gondor, which is like the best. I mean, I think there's like a really good design of like a white hard draw creature because it isn't just like, oh, like inspiring over here, where you just like play it and you do it, it has like a little restriction on it. Not even like super horrible if you don't meet the requirements. It just becomes like a looper. Bagan Porter, Gilmer of the Rittermark, Mary Dog, Brandy Buck, Forest, Mithril Coat, Oil, AK Dark Steel Plate number two, Horn to Gondor, everybody's favorite card from Draft. By that, I mean. Love to play it, you hate it. I'm playing it. And then Feasting Hobbit, one and a green, two, two, creature, halfling, so then Devour Food, three. Creatures with power less than Feasting Hobbit's power can't block it. Yeah. I mean, uh. Deva like, I mean, if you're familiar with, like, the whole Devour mechanic, it's, it's like when this enters the battlefield, you can sacrifice. The normal devour mechanic is like it's just like devour X and like you can sacrifice any number of creatures and for each creature sacrifice battlefield put X number of plus one plus one counter on it, but then this one is specifically devour food. Very flavorful feasting hobbit. Faramir Field Commander Whoa, gemstone caverns. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty nice. The gemstone caverns. If, if you're not familiar with gemstone caverns, uh, the reason this card is expensive is because uh, this card basically gives you the chance to be on the play, even when you're on the draw kind of thing. Well, you, you have to be on the play in the sense you get to have, like, a, 
land. You get to have like a land play on your first turn. When you're on the draw, I mean. So like if you were on the draw and you had this in your on the play and then take your first turn. Assuming you had like another losses. It basically just like lets you feel being on the play. You don't get to play one draw. Dip into bravery. Work with that. In the Minas Tirith. Minas Tirith. Save foil. Boiling. And then food slash humans. Or like different, slightly different art. I'm assuming like. I think like Eomir makes like a different um a different token art from like the one that gets created by Horn of Gondor. Or do you know what I mean? Like the it's sort of like the foods from Eldraine. I think there was like four or five different art for food or whatever in that set. Change depending on like what card like you played that generated the food. We have like a different art. Mirror, mirror guardian. Eagles of the North. Oliphant. Founded by orcs. Gondal sanction. AKA people were calling this like Zen Flare. He doesn't gain life, but. Getting like a bunch of instant cards in your graveyard is probably easier in some cases than like cycling, getting a bunch of graveyard. You cannot pass, which I actually saw somebody play yesterday. Um, I don't know what people think about this card. I mean, the set has, I think the set, somebody set or Seerkabiz might have said this set has like more legendaries than not. And you know, having a ring bearer does let you make a mountain globe child of Ungolian. Horn of the Mark. Lidless Gaze. Two generic black and a red sorcery. Exile the top card of each player library until the end of your next turn you may play those cards and mana of any type can be spent to cast flashback. Two and a red black. So it's like you get to draw four, kinda, or you get to draw four, but um, the fact that it costs four is like a lot. But I guess if you have some way of like seeing the top of everyone's library, feather, like field of dreams. See, that's why like somebody said field of dreams is. I think that's also just because might be on the reserve. Fairy Dog, Brandy Buck, Thing Art. What? Oh, Reflecting Pool. Okay, look at that. Reflecting Pool. Add one mana of any type that will land you. Cool. And, um,. Lost Isle Calling, Gothmog Morgul Lieutenant, and Rivendell Horn. The food slash boulder. Right, we got three more packs left to go. Thanks for like hanging out. Nimble Hobbit, Airborne Flamesmith, Orgul Knife Wounds, Mushroom Watchdogs, 
Okay, okay good as boy. Maher Urukai Captain. March from the Black Gate. Sort of remind me a lot of like um Red Horde invasion when I first saw it. But it's actually played out better, but it's also very play draw dependent. Mountain. Or Janu, which some people were talking about playing in like Hammer and Mother. No, but still. To be fair, I think a lot of people just aren't modern. Sad in the middle. King of the Oathbreakers. Which I also thought this card was kind of insane. Some like less insane. Maybe it's really it's probably a lot better in constructed when you have like other spirit. X is like relevant, like it's affecting your spirits too. Rampaging War Mammoth, 5 and a double red, 9 7 trample. Cycling X, 2 and a red. Whenever you cycle Rampaging War Mammoth, this is up to X Targard. The cycling means you pay the mana cost and then. Yeah. So it's like a. Kind of like, um, Bison Twain, but only hits artifacts because you hit multiple artifacts. It's also a 7 mana 9, 7 transfer. Golem, Patient Plotter, Ring Art. Mary, Esquire, Ramon, Ring Art. Prince, Emerhill, the Fair. And Elrond, Lord of Rivendell, Ring Art. And another Mary, Esquire, Ramon. Army. Juving of Smeagol, Galadrimbo, Fire of Orthonk, Eastmore Cavalier, Prince Imrahil the Fair, Oak the Grey Host, Island, Aragorn Company Leader. I think it's something about like him throwing a bow is just, like makes it more like Doors of Durin. Balrog of Moria, four generic, black, black, red, legendary creature, avatar, demon, 8-8, eight, eight. trample, haste. When the Balrog of Moria dies, you may exile it. When you do, for each opponent, exile up to one target, the player. And cycling three in a red. Every cycle, the Balrog of Moria create two treasure tokens. I like kind of like well not, not really like big score big score was like uh it was like a tormenting voice this could be like an eight mana eight eight trample haste if you wanted to peregrine's hook ring art Baradur. bilbo retired burglar foray of orcs the Storm of Saruman. Well, that's kind of that was cool. And a food slash tentacle. Again, really important if you're playing your Nadir Kraken Watcher in the water tribal deck. Kraken tribal. Last pack, in Enrage Horn. Now for Wrath, now for Ruin. Dire Scarecrow. Tower of Arrow. Rise of the Witch King. Ron the Gatebreaker. 
I do like this design of like making vehicles that are like sometimes creatures without like having usually like the big downside of like having to like cast them. Forest, Proto Sauron's main Goldberry River Daughter. Monstrosity of the Lake. Four of the blue legendary creature Kraken four six. Never when Monstrosity of the Lake enters the battlefield, you may pay five generic. If you do tap all creatures your opponent's control, then put a stun count. Island cycle. You have like 10 mana, or you have some way of blinking this and then paying 5. Basically, like Icy Blast. There's as Island Cycling. Elrond, Lord of Rivendell, Ring Art. Faramir, Prince of Athelion, aka Unfaramir, Ring Art. Delighted Halfling, ooh, Delighted Halfling, or so Delighted, Sip into Bravery, and uh, Yomir, Marshal of Rowan, and a Food Slash Spirit Hope. All right, well there, let's see. That was less exciting than the last box. Like the last box had all of the bow masters in it. This was like basically uh, like Yalamaya, Nazgul, Blighted Halfling. Another delighted halfling. Um, collecting pool. Gemstone caverns. Mithril coat. Sword of amethyst. Uh, Gondol of the white. Anyways, thanks everyone for like watching uh, this video. If you like it, please consider subscribing to the channel.